This is the FMC planning tutorial for the latest 60. Let's go. Okay, so first thing first, I got my iPad here with my information on Santa Barbara Airport. This is the clearance frequency I'm going to be using right now, and I'm going to get the clearance right now. Okay. Contact departure, have a good flight. Santa Barbara Clarence, this is Silver Speed 143, IFR to Mammoth. Silver Speed 143, Santa Clarence, good morning, clear to Mammoth Airport, departing. All right, Silver Speed 143 is clear to Mammoth, runway 7. We're going to fly runway heading upon reaching 500 feet. Right turn to heading 200, radar vector San Marcos, then is filed. Climb to 3000, expect flight level 250, five minutes after. Departure 125.4, squawk 2026. Service speed 143, your read back is correct. Thank you. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm um, going to plan the route. You know what, I'm Let's kick this thing off. That's better. All right, so here we go. We go to the FMC. All right, so now we're going to plan the FMC, or flight management computer, by using the CDU, which is the control display unit. Today we have six passengers on this uh, flight from Santa Barbara to Mammoth. First thing I'll do is go to the fuel page. This is where we calculate our weight. So we have our basic weight of 15,160 pounds. This is where I add the passengers. Six. So I pop that right there, press enter. Now this is based on an average of 189 pounds per person. The people that are actually flying today aren't all that heavy, so this is actually a weight that's greater than what it's going to actually be. So 1,134 pounds for the passengers. Cargo. Me and the captain is going to be roughly 50 pounds. And for the passengers, we're actually going to weigh that once they arrive. Our current fuel on board today is 3,570 pounds. So that's what I put right here. 3,570. Enter. And that gives us a gross weight of 20,014 pounds. Now for the actual route. According to our clearance, we are to fly runway heading, which in this case, I go to menu, departure, or depart. Runway seven is where we're gonna be taking off from. So that's selection number one. So I'm gonna push number one right there and put that in the little box right there. So we got runway seven. There's no standard instrument, instrument departure out of here. We're just gonna be flying runway heading up to 500 feet, then right turn to 200. So there's no need to put anything right there. I'm going to go back to the flight plan now. So now we got Santa Barbara, we got runway 7. We're going to get radar vectors to San Marcos, which is RZS. Push enter, just to verify, San Marcos. So that's done. I can either press accept right here or press enter. I prefer enter, it's a lot easier. So we have radar vectors to San Marcos and then as filed. After San Marcos we have Bishop. Bishop is B I H. <laughs> B I H. <laughs> Alright, so Bishop, boom. Enter. And after that, it's pretty much direct. So K M M H for Mammoth. It's a very short flight, so it's a very easy route. According to our weather report, it's pretty clear in Mammoth today. So we're not going to really have any issues as far as that goes. Um, they do have a lot of snow out there, but uh, they plowed the runway. So typically when we fly into Mammoth, we land runway 27. That's not always the case, but that's usually the case. So for now, I'll put runway 27. That's number two, selection number two. Pop number two in there, boom. So we have that, there's no star, the approach. 
We have the RNAV GPS Roomy 27 as I shown on the iPad. We're gonna be coming from the south. So our transition will be Wally. Wally, come on, focus bastard. All right, Wally's number two. Oh yeah. Pot number two in there. And there we go, our approach is set up. So I'm gonna leave the no link right here because we're gonna be flying visual anyway. So if we do need the RNAV for any particular reason, we can just get rid of that no link and go direct Wally. Of course, we gotta let ATC know exactly what we're doing. They're probably gonna be giving us radar vectors at that point to a mammoth, but we'll see what happens. After that, I pretty much just cycle through the pages. This is the next button right here. As you can see, flight plan, page two out of five. That's the approach right there. Three out of five. So we're just checking everything just to make sure everything's right. And the same according to the approach. Of course, as I said, the approach is just backup for today. So chances are we're not going to be flying that approach. But just in case, always good to plan ahead. Make sure everything's there. So we have Mammoth as our destination. We'll leave it alone after that. Next, we go to performance. So as you see, I'm pretty much going down the list. Fuel, flight plan, performance. After that, there's nothing else to really do as far as the programming. So as I said earlier, 20,014 pounds. That's our weight right now. Now I go back to the ATIS that I copied down. I didn't actually have that on audio. But our altimeter is 3012. So first I'm going to put that up here, 3012, and then I'm going to set it on this side with this knob right here for barometric pressure. And this is where it's located on the screen. So as I turn this knob, 3012 is now in there. So we're roughly at sea level here at Santa Barbara Airport. So I make sure that's accurate first. So about six feet or so at Santa Barbara, that sounds about right. So I push enter. Now, at Santa Barbara, it's really not much of a change in altitude. We have about maybe one foot difference between this end and this end. So the runway doesn't really slope that much, just like one foot, so that's not really a big deal. So the runway um, gradient percentage as far as the slope, I'll just put zero percent. Headwind, we have zero six zero at three knots. We're taking off runway seven. So that's roughly about two knots, but just for the sake of argument, I'll put three knots in there. Temperature right now is one one degrees Celsius. Runway length. 6,052 feet. As you can see, it says the same thing on the chart. So that's good. Now hit enter one last time. The runway condition today is wet. So I'm going to change that to wet. Flaps is going to be 20 for today's takeoff. Rotor boost will be on. Thrust reverses will be stowed. Anti ice will be off. Not required today because it's not that cold. Anti-skid is on, and auto spoilers will be armed in case we have to abort the takeoff. And now we get our speeds. V1, 107, VR, 131, V2, 138. And that's our program based off of the weights, runway condition, etc. So I take those speeds, select this button right here, V speeds. And you can see those are my speeds right there. So we have 107, 107. So I grab this knob here. One oh seven. One three one. One three eight. We're at Clash Charlie Airspace at this airport. Top speed in Clash Charlie is 200 knots. So I have that set. Now I have this on um, on green source. That means we're on uh, ground navigation equipment. But since we're going to be uh, flying a IFR route with actual waypoints, I'm gonna have to put that to FMS. 
So I said it's FMS. And now we have white lines. So this is going to depict our actual route. So once we get that radar vector to fly direct to San Marcos, this needle will point towards that. And then we fly on navigation mode based off of that to fly to San Marcos. And that'll put us on our route. So we have the route plan. The next thing to do is to set the altitude. 3,000 feet will be our initial altitude according to the clearance. So I pop that in there. Upon reaching 500 feet, we make a right turn to 200. So the heading bug is on 200 now. 3,000 feet is set. Departure frequency will be 125.4. 125.4, I'll just leave that right there for reference. And 2026 will be the squawk. So this is what air traffic control will see on their radar when they're looking at us. 2026. Okay, so everything's programmed on my side. One final step is to program everything on this side but I don't have to do it the same way. All I have to do is transfer everything over and I'll show you how. Everything's the same as far as the first page, so I hit accept. We're gonna go to Master Crossbill from FMS2. This is FMS2. So from the right side. Crossbill receive in progress. Once that's done, then he'll have everything I have. Except for one thing. And that's the performance. So I just have to program that again. So I'm going to enter the same values as I did on the other side. Very quick and easy. Speeds are the same, so everything matches. That's it. You push the nav button so we can see our route, where we're coming from, where we're going to, and what step is next. And that's how you program the FNC on a Lear 60 classic version. Oh, this is a universal control display unit, just so you know. So I press the toga button right here, take off go around button, and this is what happens to the screen. Now the flight director has come up. We have go around, go around mode. So I need to change that to I need to change that to heading mode and altitude select on both sides. Once we reach 500 feet, we're gonna use this as a reference to turn to heading 200 as we're climbing to 3000 feet. I hit the altitude select button. That's the second one right here. It'll capture 3000 feet and it'll level the plane off. Now, if we are not using the autopilot, we'll follow this flight director right here this will direct us to heading 200, 3,000 feet, and it'll level us off as long as we follow these command bars. Airplane is prepped and ready to go. So now we're just waiting for the passengers. My favorite part. Mm. I almost forgot the most important part. Ain't no point in flying a plane that ain't clean. And lemony fresh. I think our passenger's car just pulled up. Anyway, if you like this video, if you found it informative, then please hit that like button. Because for every like that I get, I get one cent. That goes towards me buying my own jet. I know you guys want that for me, right? <laughs>